Josh Kirpius, and we're in my little hometown of Genoa, Illinois. I was uh, born in this area and lived in Genoa, and then I guess at about 20, I went into the city of Chicago for photography. Yeah, I really didn't want to move into the city. I kind of was forced kicking and screaming, but after I got to know it a little bit, I really enjoyed it. The people are a lot more open-minded. We're here at the Empty Bottle for Honky Tonk Happy Hour. It's fun to get in the city, you know. I never really get to ride with my good friends a whole lot. We're here having a good time. Uh, Brian Harlow. Uh, originally met Josh, man, probably four years ago. I'd pull up to the bar at about three in the morning. We started talking and jiving and this and that. And we just, we clicked, you know, instant kind of brotherhood type stuff and then uh, started rolling around together. Josh came in and changed the way people looked at bikes and photographs. A huge part of Josh's style of photography is completely based on the fact that he can outride probably 95% of the people you've ever seen on a motorcycle. You know, he's, he grew up on them. He's been riding Harleys and big, heavy iron machines since he was, you know, a tiny kid. Actually, Brian said that I, uh, grew up on motorcycles. I really did. And it was my 20th birthday. My dad let me take a bike out. I've been riding with Josh for four years and nobody will ever be able to do what he does shooting from a motorcycle because quite frankly nobody's got the balls to do it. I don't know anybody that can surf a bike and shoot photos at 70, 80 miles per hour, you know. freaks people out. Who does that? You know what I mean? Nobody's doing that. Nobody ever probably will because that just takes grain that most people don't have, you know? And I started shooting and learning to ride and learning to shoot at the same time. So from the time I started riding and the time I started shooting, I was learning both. It's just natural for me now just to, to be shooting from a bike. He's in complete control of that bike at all times. When you're watching him and you're saying, this kid's gonna kill himself out here doing this. You know, not once do I ever think that he's he's not in control of that motorcycle. I guess I've just been more interested in capturing them and what they're doing. Josh is this talented kid that, you know, would come around and shoot these crazy pictures and everything he touches is just, it's pretty intense, you know. Pretty gnarly, I must add. Does it feel like we're in close enough? Similar, similar. Okay, let's turn the bike so that it's facing this direction. That's not even necessarily about the motorcycle, it's about the people and their attitude towards life. Just making enough money to have fun and not really worrying about maybe tomorrow.